A Utica man is in the hospital a week after being stabbed three times in his own garage. It happened last Thursday morning in Utica behind David Buster's on Hall Road. And as Nick Monticelli reports, the detective on the case is hoping you can help figure out who the suspect is. So it turns out whoever this suspect is was looking for victims all over this complex here in Utica. He started off by knocking on this door. They refused to answer that door. And then he ended up stabbing the guy all the way at the other end of this complex. Our bedroom is like right in the back. So like I was looking out that window when I saw him take off running down that street over there. Steve Payne knew something was a little off last week Thursday when he and his fiance decided not to open their front door. He actually was pounding on our door um, a couple minutes prior to the stabbing. Um, so we ended up getting like a video doorbell installed uh, over the weekend just to uh, prevent stuff like that in the future. Because if we had had it, um, we probably would have seen a pretty clear picture of who it was. Who it was is the man Utica police are looking for. The man they believe randomly stabbed another man, a 54 year old who lives in this condo. The victim was leaving around 3 a.m. He opened his garage door, forgot something, and when he came back outside, the suspect confronted him, stabbing him three times. He was rushed to Troy Beaumont Hospital in critical condition, but now he is expected to make it. He's alert, he's cooperating, um, he's still undergoing treatment. He's probably going to be in the hospital for a while. Detective Greg Morabito is trying to solve this case despite using all resources, even a canine. He says they need help figuring out who the suspect is. Sometimes the littlest thing could help break a case. So yeah, if they have any information at all, we'd like to hear it. Either way, those who live here are concerned after this completely random attack. I don't know really what the motive was or what his intent was, but um, we, we felt that if we'd opened it, it probably could have been bad in retrospect. And as a reminder, if you do get a tip to Crime Stoppers that leads to an arrest, you can get a reward. That number, of course, is 1-800-SPEAK-UP. In Utica, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.